morning guys and gals, Froggy here. This is my C5Z06 and there was a discussion going on on one of my forums about testing your your differential, the clutches in your differential to see if they're worn or what torque spec they'll grab at. Um, brand new and correctly set up and installed they should be like 120 130 uh, foot-pounds according to one of the guys on the forum who's uh, got a very good reputation he races professionally so he should know what he's talking about um, so I got to you know if they're if they're another guy on the forum said you know if they're working okay you know, 70, 80 foot pounds. If they're down below that, 25, 35, 40, whatever, that they're shot and they need to be replaced. This car's got about 60,000 miles on it. I autocross it, and uh, uh, I want it. I have no issues. I have no noises. It puts down power good on corner exits, so it's working fine. I just thought I would do this uh, test for you. To um, to show you guys and gals how it's supposed to be done. So anyway, it's got one wheel jacked up, okay, and it's in gear. Doesn't, rip, doesn't matter what gear. All the other three wheels are down. Uh, so I'm just testing those clutches in the diff. I'm going to turn the axle nut. I'm using a one and fifteen sixteenths. It's a millimeter size, but this will work. And I've got my torque wrench set right now at 120 foot-pounds. So let's see if it turns. 120, that's like new. So I get that on there, and I'll get a good position. And I'm going to lean my shoulder into the car a little bit, just, so, just to kind of protect my back. <clears throat> okay. That clicked at 120, and then I went a little bit more, and you see it start to move. I'll do it again. Watch. Click. <clears throat> there. And it moved. So let's go a little more. There's 130. Let's try 140. So I'm thinking this is my clutch. There, you my clutches are fine. I've got red line uh, differential fluid in there. Here we go. 140. Click, and then it moves. Let's go 150. And this is not a super duper accurate S 150 torque wrench, but I saw I saw a study on these, and that's probably another video. And for like a twenty dollar one to a two hundred dollar one, they all read plus or minus four percent in the middle of the range. So go figure. Anyway, here's. Is 150. That's the maximum I've got. And get in there close. Coming up. Click. Oh boy. Click and move. Wow. This is my two foot breaker bar. So I don't know. <laughs> it's somewhere north of 150 okay. Let's see. yeah I can move that pretty good with my two foot breaker bar give you one more <clears throat> you see it moving yeah I'm, I'm sure you are so like I said 
I've got no noises, no issues, puts down power good, corner exit, full throttle, whatever. Um, so my diff is fine. Uh, the clutches and the diff are fine. Uh, that's how you test them. Uh, these guys that are getting lower readings, I don't know. Uh, like I showed you, 120, 30, 40, 50. Um, draw your own conclusions. Um, but that's what my car does anyway. It, it runs good, and uh, that is a test of my differential clutch breakaway uh, specification. Okay? I hope that helps you out. Uh, give me a thumbs up or a like if you uh, want more from Froggy. Subscribe to my channel. And if this saves you some money or teaches you something, you can give me a tip. Upper right hand corner, there's an eye in a circle. It's called fan funding. See you later, guys and gals. Have a great weekend. I got to uh, change out my tires for a competition tomorrow. Bye bye.